the city of Portland has repeatedly sought to avoid accountability to the community about policing. It has had rhetoric about community policing that has not been really seriously attempted at any kind of implementation since the mid 1990s. So in that kind of context, um, the reason there's a settlement agreement is because the city was forced to make an agreement by a lawsuit. So we don't trust the city council. I'm glad that you all have that responsibility now, and it's not just the mayor who has an institutional relationship with the, the police bureau. That's good. But I don't trust you, and I don't think the community trusts you, and I think if you're going to frame it as an issue of community trust, you have to understand that Judge Simon is part of the structure that enables us to trust this settlement a little bit more. If you take Judge Simon out of the picture or reduce his role, you are reducing your, our trust in you and you are demonstrating again a repetition of this culture of seeking a lack of community, community accountability and upholding a culture of impunity within the Portland police. Um, so I, I, when I listen to you talk today, I hear two things. I hear, on the one hand, an argument, we're seeking to be bigger than the settlement. We really want the community to trust us. And then on the other hand, I'm hearing these really niggling little legalistic arguments and, and a really bizarre thing saying we want clarification, but we want it by a legal appeal to a higher authority rather than asking the party that's not clear in your view to actually clarify. So. An appeal is the wrong route to get a clarification, as the legal people have said. It's also that way in the eyes of the community. Uh, so I really urge you not to make this appeal, to seek your clarity through a proper channel of going back to the judge, and be open in the process, and let us have this neutral party to help us have confidence in you. If you want to build the trust, it's a process, and you're taking the very wrong first step. So Chris, let me just ask you for clarification. You said that we shouldn't take Judge Simon's role out of this. What do you see as Judge Simon's role? We have this annual hearing. The community says this has been done, this hasn't been done. What then does, in your mind, does the judge do? Judge Simon has a role of asking you questions as a person to whom you feel more compelled to respond than you do to the community because the city has failed to respond to the community for decades. So then we respond to the judge and then what? Then there will be at least more information on the table with which to pursue the struggle for wider police accountability and better, better reform. I actually think though you should see it as an opportunity. This is as has been said, this is a public setting in which you will have a chance to engage with the, uh, the, the leading organization for police accountability and reform, engage with the Department of Justice, engage with the police bureau before a neutral body. You should take advantage of that to build confidence in the city beyond the police bureau as committed to this kind of accountability. Yes, but, but then what does the judge do? Does the judge say, yes, you're good, no, you're not good? And if, if it's not, you, you're not you, good, you okay. should you should ask the judge that before making an appeal to a higher court that could constrain the entire process and just bring the whole thing down that, that you're trying to accomplish. We are going to do those annual hearings. We are not going to stop doing it, 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 But if you're restraining the judge's role to ask you questions, then... Because it, it doesn't, until it gets heard by the court, we're going to do exactly what the judge said. But after it gets he heard by the court, if it, 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 I, don't, I don't understand what you object to. I don't understand why you don't want to be able to present information to the judge in this public setting and even evidence in this public setting. You know, I, I, don't, I, I don't understand why it needs to go to an appeal, why you can't just ask the judge. And, and the point I'm really making here is you have to choose between this legalism and public trust. You can pursue the legalism and that's fine, but then you're abandoning your, your, your seeking for public trust. The purpose of the settlement was to reach an agreement between the Department of Justice, the city, the AMA coalition, and the police uh, association on what, what, what is it going to take to fix the, the problems that the DOJ found. So those are the parties to the settlement. Having this additional oversight by the judge means that we really don't have you, a settlement. You, you agreed to that 
in, in August. You agreed to what's there now, and now you're repealing it. That, you know, before anything has happened. Um, Actually, no, Mr. Lowe, the, that's right. we agreed that we would have an annual, um, that, an annual meeting, but we did not agree that there would be a procedure where the judge could decide to ask the parties to produce evidence. A question I have for you, though, is I understand you don't trust the police, you don't trust us. Do you distrust the Federal Justice Department? Yes, I dis I, it, 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 I, it, or, or let, let me put it this way. I want as many institutional means by which the community can have a voice to exist as possible. If you're cutting out one of those means now or you're reducing its scope, the Justice Department will be responsive to some kinds of things. It won't be responsive to others. Uh, you know, th this fits to me the pattern of the Portland city toward these whole sets of issues for several decades, which is to limit the structures and processes by which the community can hold the police accountable. And you're doing that again. And, you know. So do you think that the judge's role should be in part that of a prosecutor? I, no, I, I, I think, you know, I, I don't see that in what is, is in, in what you're contesting. Uh, or, or I guess you're contesting. So, I mean, so are you afraid that the Justice Department won't enforce the agreement against us and we'll be in violation, but they won't see that, and it'll be up to the judge to decide on his own that we're in violation and go after us? I, I am afraid that the Justice Department will not recognize the Albina Ministerial Alliance for uh, Justice and Police Reform as having the legitimate voice it should have and that Justice, the Judge Simon has recognized and has built into the, the, the setting. 